I'm just going to go ahead and put all these guys in there too. They're about to have the worst deaths of their lives. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's so great to have you guys and welcome to all of my brand new subscribers. We are lucky to have you. I have little bumps running around. Well, I actually have Nyx running around and Belly up in the tank right there if you can see her. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a lizard smoothie. It's actually called a slurry and if you don't know what a slurry is, here's the definition right here. I have my products already ready. And soon my squash is going to be ready. And remember, with squash, you have to cook it. You do not feed raw squash to your babies ever. But while we're waiting for that, I'm going to tell you what we're going to put inside. So I'm going to get my mustard greens ready. I'm not going to put any vein in there, any leaf vein at all. Get that ready. And I just use my fingers for that. My hands were washed. Everything was washed on this table right here. Have our handy dandy waste bucket right there. This is a collard green leaf if you've never seen one before. We get rid of that. It has no nutritional value for our babies. We get these real small. I just tear them a lot. I mean, I think it would look a lot better to cut it, but you know, I'm not exactly a professional chef either, so I just kind of rip it. It works either way. Alright, and I'm also putting a strawberry in there just for extra flavor. You can put a raspberry. A raspberry is probably a little bit better for this recipe, but um, a strawberry is what I have right now and it's not bad. It's completely safe for them to eat. I'm going to get that white stocky part out though. Alright you guys, so our butternut squash is done. Anyways, we can just go ahead and put that in there, a little blender. And keep in mind, we're not going to be feeding all of this at once to them. This right here, are these are called phoenix worms. Another word for them is BSFL. If you don't know what that is, the definition is right here. They're really, really nutritious for your babies. Um, these are size medium because the larges, I was going to get larges, but uh, those were not looking the best at the store, so this is what they had. I'm just going to go ahead and put all these guys in there too. They are about to have the worst deaths of their lives. Just not the best. You, you, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. So, what else I'm going to put in there? Bee pollen. I'm also going to put a, uh, the multivitamins in there. I'm not going to put the calcium, and I'm going to put the probiotics in there. Because Nixie Pie is really needing all of this right now. This is who the slurry is for. And I am needing a new scoop really badly, but since I've done this before, I can kind of just eyeball it. But really, it's like just a little bit. Put that in there. This is the same. You're able to put, even though it says dust live feeders, you're able to put this in there too if you're really needing a boost of something. Put that in there. And the probiotic powder, same thing. Okay, now that we have all of our powders and stuff in there. Let's put our greens in. Alrighty, and then the last thing that we put in there is water. Alright you guys, now we have water added in there. It's about mixed water up to here. Actually, I'm going to put some more water in there because I didn't know it was that little water about halfway the bugs are not uh having fun in there but they're still alive for now
All right, you guys, now that we've blended this together, we need to get a little syringe. And this syringe is a three milliliter syringe. It's sold on the BuddhaDragon.co website. Um, this one is brand new. I actually just opened it because my other ones are getting old. Woo! Definitely smells green. Oh my! So I'm putting it on its side to do this. Um, there's like a lot better way to do this, but this is how I'm choosing to do it. I'm trying not to have any air pockets in it. Um, you don't want your baby to swallow air. All right. Yum, yum, yum. And that is how to create a slurry. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so that is actually all I have for you. And from my family to yours, have a wonderful, wonderful week.